Today, we're going to explore some of the most dangerous places on the planet, places where danger lurks around every corner, where nature is in total control and humans are mere visitors at their own peril. From remote jungles to war-torn regions, these places are not for the faint of heart. And who better to take us through them than the man who sat down with adventurers, scientists, and survival experts from all over the world. On the Joe Rogan Experience, Joe has interviewed countless guests who ventured into some of the most dangerous environments on Earth. In today's video, we're diving deep into five of the most dangerous places on the planet, as revealed by Joe Rogan and his expert guests. One, the Amazon rainforest. Some of the more uh, fascinating pieces of evidence in South America have come out recently mm -hmm. about these uh, channels and pathways that they've found in the Amazon yeah. that could not have been created any other way but by humans Absolutely. creating irrigation, humans creating, the, the, like, it appears like grids, like a city grid. Definitely. The Amazon is a colossal mystery, and uh, it's one of the subjects that I explore in depth in America. Before. Our first stop is a place that is both breathtaking and absolutely terrifying the Amazon rainforest. Covering over 2.7 million square miles, the Amazon is often referred to as the lungs of the planet, but it's also one of the deadliest places on Earth. Joe Rogan has had adventurers and survival experts on his podcast who've shared stories of just how unforgiving this jungle can be. The Amazon is home to some of the most dangerous creatures on the planet. You've got venomous snakes like the Bushmaster, the world's largest snake, the anaconda, and spiders like the Brazilian wandering spider, whose bite can be fatal. But it's not just the animals, it's the sheer size of the place. If you get lost in the Amazon, your chances of survival plummet. With thick, dense vegetation, it's easy to become disoriented, and without proper knowledge of the terrain, you could wander in circles for days. Joe talked about this on his podcast, saying, The stuff that they found in the Amazon, what imaging technology were they using to find Initially, initially, it was entirely found because areas of the rainforest had been cleared. Economic interests said, we want to make a cattle ranch here, or we want to make a soya bean farm here, so we're just going to clear the rainforest. In the process of clearing the rainforest, they start discovering these earthworks that had previously been completely overgrown by the jungle. One of the biggest challenges in the Amazon is the isolation. In some parts of the jungle, you are days away from the nearest human settlement. Imagine being stranded with no clean water, constantly swarmed by insects and stalked by predators. The survival stories from people who've endured this environment are mind-blowing, but many aren't so lucky. The Amazon may be beautiful, but it's a place where nature is in charge and humans are just visitors. Murtu, Mount Everest Death Zone. Next, let's head to one of the most iconic places in the world, but also one of the deadliest, Mount Everest. For many, summiting Everest is the ultimate achievement. But for those who attempt it, the mountain holds nothing back. Joe Rogan has spoken with experienced mountaineers, including record-holding climbers like Nirmal Purja and expert adventurers like Jimmy Chin, who have faced the brutal conditions on this mountain. Yeah, they leave the bodies. Yeah, you climb past them they, and they're white because like they're, they're, they're basically just completely frozen solid and, and it's just like a white piece of meat and then the, the clothing is like ripped apart so you can see the flesh underneath it that's hard as a rock. It's like. So when it's frozen all year round, it never thaws? It never thaws. Wow. Yeah, you're just up there frozen like a rock forever. Yeah. And they the most dangerous part of Everest, the infamous death zone, which is the area above 26,000 feet. In the death zone, the air is so thin that your body begins to deteriorate. Oxygen levels drop to just one third of what they are at sea level and without supplemental oxygen, you'd lose consciousness in minutes. But that's not all. The temperature can drop to as low as 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and winds can exceed 100 miles per hour. Joe Rogan has described this part of the mountain as, you can be the fittest person in the world, and you're still not guaranteed survival. Up there, your body is literally dying every second you spend above 26,000 feet. People are literally stepping over bodies because it's too dangerous to bring them down. Hundreds of climbers have died attempting to reach the summit, and many of their bodies remain on the mountain, frozen in place. It's not just the lack of oxygen or the freezing temperatures that make Everest dangerous. The terrain is treacherous. Avalanches, crevasses, and falling ice are constant threats. 
Third on our list is the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone, the site of the world's worst nuclear accident. In 1986, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in Ukraine experienced a catastrophic meltdown, releasing deadly amounts of radiation into the atmosphere. Today, over 30 years later, the area surrounding Chernobyl remains one of the most dangerous places on the planet. Joe has had nuclear experts and scientists on his podcast who've explained just how dangerous the radiation levels in Chernobyl still are. Dangerous. And compared to the deaths that are already occurring every year just from you using the methods we have now, in, in comparison to the amount of people that died from nuclear, it's very, very small. Well, the only people who have died from nuclear that we know of are at Chernobyl. There was right. 50 first responders who died in the actual... Uh, they were the badly badly protected. They were sent in by a corrupt and, and decaying Soviet government. What makes this place even more terrifying is that radiation is invisible. Four, the Somali coast, pirate territory. Next, let's talk about a different kind of danger, the waters off the coast of Somalia. This area, located along the Horn of Africa, has become notorious for modern day piracy. Joe Rogan has interviewed Navy SEALs, military experts, and maritime professionals about the ongoing threat of piracy in this region. What was it like to see them watching their story being depicted on the other side of the planet? Well, that's what was weird, is that they, they were so fascinated by it, but we, you know, otherwise they didn't necessarily like to talk about bad news for pirates. Or, you know, like I said, when the hostages were released, um, or rescued in the first few days of my captivity. Pirates off the Somali coast have hijacked everything from small fishing vessels to massive cargo ships, demanding huge ransoms for the safe return of crews. Number five, the Danakil Depression, Ethiopia. Finally, we head to a place that feels like another world, the Danakil Depression in Ethiopia. Known as one of the hottest and most inhospitable places on earth, this desert landscape is full of active volcanoes, boiling hot springs, and toxic gases. Temperatures can reach a blistering 120 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's home to some of the most extreme conditions on the planet. Joe has spoken with adventurers who visited the Danakil Depression, describing it as one of the harshest environments imaginable. That story is so nuts, and it sounds so ridiculous, and people you go, what, the Ark of the Covenant's real? But then when you go into the history of these people that live there, and they all suffered radiation poisoning, and it's like waiting cataracts over their yeah. eyes yeah. Uh, and 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 let's let's not forget that there's an indigenous population of of old testament jews in in ethiopia right. the falashas uh, yeah. who have their own story about how the ark of the covenant the landscape is dotted with sulfur springs salt flats and bubbling lava lakes some have even called it the gateway to hell 